Um, do's and don'ts. What do you do while you're live on cam? How do you stay occupied when it's slow? Here's the thing. When it's slow, there's always somebody watching you on camera. There's, there's always, like, they may not be logged in. Some websites have it where they can hover over your room and they show a little clip of your room live. When you're live on camera, just think somebody is watching you. So sometimes, yes, I, I have music in the background. I sometimes have a show that I'm watching with subtitles, but I, I, I know there's somebody watching me. I even sometimes try to I say that if you're watching me, you're not logged in, I invite you to log in and have a conversation with me while I'm online. Like when you're online, just think there's somebody watching you all the time. It's just easier. Like, and then if it's slow for like for me, if it's slow for 30 minutes, I may log off and come back depending on the website. Like depending on which website I'm working, I may have to log off take a break, take a stretch, walk around, and then come back. But when I'm online and it's slow, I just think there's somebody in the room all the time, and I try to make sure that my room is directing people to either join and sign up, or to log in and have a conversation with me. And also, I sometimes talk to the, the freeloaders in my room. That's what they're there for. They build conversation in your room. Like if you're not able to converse with the freeloaders in your room, how are you supposed to convert customers to join the, join the website to spend money on you? And some of the websites, part of your power score, your cam score, is how well can you convert customers to, from free customer, a freeloader customer, a gray customer, to a spending member customer. And to do that, you learn how to do that when it's slow online. You do. Like, if it's slow online for more than 30 minutes, I will log off and then come back. Or I switch sites. This is also why it's good to have multiple different sites and multiple different um, platforms, things like that. But it even doesn't really matter what website you're broadcasting live on. Eventually, every website goes slow. Sometimes at the exact same time. Like, even that too. Some websites go slow at the same time. Yeah, when I'm live online, I talk to my customers. I make sure everyone knows I'm live, like I'm really here. I'm one time I used to, um, I used to pick my nose so they knew I was really here. Um, or I would eat um, craft dinner, the mac and cheese out of a box. So they knew I was really there. Like I was really a person right there in front of them. Like things like that. Like it's now more people have an idea that you actually are there, but, um, it's just making sure that the room knows you're here, you're here to have a conversation, you're here to have fun. Did you look at my pictures? Did you look at my videos? Did you join and get the free credits for signing up as a brand new member? You're constantly promoting and directing them to something on the website that gets them to do an action. Whether it's to type or to take you private or to tip your toy or to join your fan club. Some websites let you um, promote your social media depending on what the rules are. The rules are very important and then you have to be the tour guide director of the website while you're online.